are you? I, the crew. Th- we are. We are good. Hey, we, well, good most of us are good. Oh, God. You know, that's that's, <laughs> that's why we need your help, Dr. Jeff. Now, first of all, let me let everybody know, Dr. Jeff is highly accredited. You know, he's a psychologist. And you've been on CNN, MSNBC, NBC, Fox. Fox? What you doing over there, Dr. Jeff? Hey, listen, I don't play politics. I just play psychology. Okay, okay. (laughs) Look, obviously you do because you've been on Maury as well. (laughs) Was the baby yours? Absolutely. (laughs) Well, I... let me tell you, I am the father. I'm, I'm like the old man in the shoe. I have so many damn kids, I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Jeff, I think you do know what to do. That's why we got your services. And I just want to say thank you, for first of all, for being a part of the show. Because we want to consider you as a part of our show now. You know, a lot of mental health is a very serious issue and finally it's coming to light for our community would you agree absolutely we're breaking the stigma and we're understanding that if you have an emotional challenge it doesn't always have to be a mental health illness we all have emotional challenges and the more we talk about them uh especially as you've done vita you've talked about the difficulties in your life then we set really a model for everyone else to be able to talk about their lives and to do better. We can all do better. Nice. And Dr. Jeff, I, I, I thank you for that. And, and that's what I tell J. Cruz. Oh. Now, J. Cruz, we're going to set the scene for you. I want J. Yeah. Cruz to go get some help because him and his partner argue a lot. And they kind he comes in here, he punches walls at the house. They argue constantly. They yell at each other. And I told Cruz, I said, hey, I think you need to go get some counseling. And he gives us the the average black guy answer. Uh, I don't need any. Uh, Cruz. That is the average black guy answer. But I, I will tell you, uh, this is not just a J. Cruz situation. This is a situation that many of us in the black community, African-American, Latino community deal with. It's the day-to-day pressures of living while black or Latino or being a minority, and that comes into our relationships and whatever anger issues we have that comes from childhood. By the way, we know this, right? Right. We're not just married to that one person or in a partnership with that one person. We're in partnership with their uh, emotional baggage and everything that they brought from their lives into that relationship. And that's why it's important for him to look at counseling. That's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength, but also for his partner to be involved in counseling too. It together. does take two to tango. Right. Absolutely. To, to do it together. Vita, now, not to, I feel like Vita is exaggerating a tad. No, she's not exaggerating. We don't, we don't argue <laughs> all the time. Yes, we have arguments, but we're both very aggressive people, okay? We, we do yell, we do get loud and boisterous. I, growing up, you know, my dad died young. I went through, we went through a lot like everybody does. But I used to punch punch things. That's how I released my aggression. So sometimes, I know, I'm old, I know I'm older, but I still go back to that at times. And recently, the last week, I punched a hole in my bedroom door. And I did it in front of my five-year-old, which I was disappointed in myself for doing that because I don't want to show him that as a way to release, you know, emotions. But I was also considering those anger rooms, Dr. Jeff. And I was thinking, what do you think? Is that a healthy uh, way to, is that a healthy route? Should I go see a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist? Well, I, I think, first of all, an anger room uh, is something that is uh, transitional. Uh, you can get all of the rage that you may have brought from your childhood that was modeled for you into that anger room and take it out there. But you can't always have an anger room. That anger room ends up being your home. Uh, mm. And so you, you're very smart when you said, when you did this in front of your son, this is something you don't want him to learn, and it's very scary for him. So from the anger room to the therapy room to a very happy and pleasant bedroom, that's what we want the transition to be. Got it. Got it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 do feel, I do feel we need to learn how to release our frustrations. And I know that yes. punching walls and... Cutting my knuckles is not the way to do it. And yelling at your co-workers, Cruz. That doesn't work either. Uh, sometimes. 
Well, well, I would say there are a couple of things, uh, Brother Cruz, that you can do. Uh, the first one is to set some rules with your lovely partner. Write down the rules as to how are you going to express uh, your anger towards one another or about life that you may share together. And writing down five rules, such as it is okay to argue, but yelling should be kept at a minimum. Okay. It's okay to yell, but don't use any curse words. Right. Don't hit below the belt. Mm. Try not to argue in front of your child. Mm. Take time out so that when both of you or one of you may be feeling that anger, say, okay, let's do this time out, but then let's talk about this in an hour or an hour and a half when both of us are calm, when we can analyze, and then we can breathe and say, okay, let's come up with a solution. Let's work together to figure out how do we make this better and take those baby steps each way. And I would also say that it's important to pray uh, if you're into your religion, uh, you could do yoga, you could do meditation, healthy eating, exercise. This is all holistic, but it does help us channel a lot of that anger. And of course, going back in therapy and looking at where that anger may have come from. It's funny you say that because we always do reach that conclusion where we argue and sometimes it's a little over the top. But we always, after we come down, we always find... A resolution after we have both calmed down we always get to a place where we can move on from but we just need to figure out a way to not go over the top all the time right and and what's interesting is um, when you do come down in that way it's important to know has this taken us over another threshold or another issue that we've begun to look at and how does that make us closer Sometimes letting out those raw emotions in a very positive way right. actually brings the two of you closer. And, you know, you don't want to get into that makeup sex all the time. I was going to say makeup sex. Really great. Yeah. Right. Even though it may be really great, but you don't want to reinforce that's when it's always good after an argument. It mm. should be mm. after a resolution. Ah. Okay. Well said, all right. Uh, well said. Dr. Jeff, now we had a listener call up. His name is Derek, and his problem was his wife has a tendency to always belittle him. What suggestion would you give to a, a man who white, whose wife t talks to them in a manner that they deem, you know, inappropriate, belittling, yeah. you know, em emasculating? She's the aggressor and he's passive, pretty much. Well, I would say that it would be important for him to not be aggressive because he doesn't want to match that aggression because it would only make the other partner make her more aggressive, but to be more, and here's the term, assertive. Mm. Stop her at those certain comments and say, when you say these particular things, this is the way that it makes me feel. And let me model for you a better way to say these things for you to not hit below the belt. Uh, teach her how to express her anger, because that's what it is, anger and self-esteem issues. Teach her healthier ways by addressing her in healthy ways, even if she comes off with rage. This happened with my ex-wife and I, maybe why she's my ex-wife, ah. when she would say, you know, you're an a-hole or whatever, and I would say, instead of responding in the like, I would say, honey, Look at your language. Look at what you're saying. This is so hurtful. I don't feel that way about you. Perhaps you need to tell me what it is that is bothering you because maybe this is not really for me. Maybe this is something else. So talking in a way that is assertive, catching them at their game, and letting them know uh, that it's not acceptable, but saying it in a way that is very constructive and calm will bring them down and it calls them out because maybe at times she doesn't even realize how she is emasculating her man. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Now, how can anyone get a hold of you, Dr. Jeff, if you know if they want to seek your advice and and, and let us know what, what avenues that you're at that people can can enjoy you, per se. Oh, okay. Yes, absolutely. Well, they can go to my Facebook, uh, which is Dr. Jeff Gardier, G-A-R-D-E-R-E, drjeffgardier.com. Uh, they can just go on uh, at Dr. Jeff Gardier for Twitter. 
uh, and I do uh, in, uh, you know, a Facebook uh, where they can easily find me, and we do something every Tuesday live at 4 p.m. Oh, course, okay. Okay. Tina, they can always get me through your team, too. Right. right. Yes, yes. Right. we're going to have you on here, Dr. Jeff, giving the best advice for mental health issues and relationship issues and whatnot. So we look forward to this relationship that we're starting, Dr. Jeff, and thank you so much for being part of our team. Oh, it, it is it is always, always my pleasure to be on with you guys. And for the oh listeners, Dr. Right. Jeff, I gotta let everybody know you was my college professor, so I'm gonna keep these guys in line for you while we are. Uh... Oh god, chaotic. Yeah, I'm just saying you told me well. Oh, god, Dr. Chaotic. Jeff, was he a good student? College I, am, skills. I, I am so proud of you, uh, what you've accomplished and the fact that you have found supportive colleagues who lift you up. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank Did you, he Dr. pass Jeff. your well, class, Dr. though? Jeff, Did he we, pass your class? We can only lift him up when yes, he's not on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 passed, he passed with an A, let me tell you that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Jeff. Hey. Yay.